Yo, peace out there. It's Mel from Holla the Wreck Apparel, Holla the Wreck TV. We back with another video. Now, today's video is gonna be on how to do the template for the Silky Socks Hexagon face mask. Okay, so I'm in Photoshop. Pardon my smoke detector. I'm in Photoshop right now. These are just some jobs that I've been working on. I'm gonna go to Create New, Custom, all that. And it's gonna bring me to a new screen. All right, so I got my canvas. I got my canvas right here. I'm an artist. We about to do some art. I'm gonna go to File, Open. I'm gonna go down to the template from Silky Socks. First things first. First thing I wanna do here, we wanna unlock this background. Click on that lock, gotta unlock that. I wanna take these guides and move them over. See this? I wanna take these guides, I wanna move them over. That one here, this one right there to the edge of the mask, all right? You do the same with the top one and the bottom. Right about there. The one we're working on is the hexagon. So right up here, you're gonna see the rectangle mask and the hexagon. I wanna click this eye right here. Matter of fact, we can bring that down and throw that in the garbage. We don't need that one. We're not working on that one right now. Click on the hexagon. Now what I wanna do here is go to my magic wand tool. Select that. Click on the background. Then I want to hold down shift, click inside of there. Still holding shift, I want to click back here as well. Come up off of it, release it. All right, so now that we got all that selected, what we do is we hit delete. And that change your background white. Now for your image that you want to use. A lot of people do it different ways. What I want to put in here is just say we want to put this Fortnite design I did. Now right, I decided I'm gonna do this Fortnite one. Now, it's got this white background and that's gonna show up if we drag it over. So to kill that, we're gonna go to the eraser tool, magic eraser tool, select that, and then just click on the white part of the background. Bam, knock that right out of there. Go up to the top, move tool. Drag this into that right there. What I want to do from here to get it the right size is hit Control T. And you'll see the box around it. And you'll be able to drag it just like that. Just like so. And what I want to do from here is hit Enter. After you hit Enter, you want to go over here to this layer right click and hit create clipping mask and there's your mask all right so we got another template loaded up i got the time to do another one real fast for y'all but first i just want to provide some support to some of y'all that's making these face masks that don't know what to do in photoshop to create an image for full sublimation i'm gonna help you with that especially with the questions like where you're getting the templates from Open up my browser, silkysocks.com. And if you come right over here to where it says wholesale in this top tab, you wanna click templates. When you click templates, you wanna come to face mask. And click templates. And you just select the one you want, download it, and that's that. Let's get back to Photoshop. All right, so I showed you guys the Silky Socks template from the website. We got time for another one. That's what we're gonna do. All right, so what I wanna do is first of all, I wanna go over here to the right and make sure we get rid of the rectangle template because we're not doing that, we're doing the hexagon. We wanna click on the hexagon because that's the layer that we're working on. And coming over here to the left side of the screen now, to my magic wand tool, I wanna left click on that and hit magic wand tool. 
select the background here. That's gonna select everything. So what I wanna do is hold down shift, click the inside of that loop, and click the inside of this loop, and let it go. Now everything is selected. What I wanna do from here is hit delete. That turns my background white, and keeps all of this selected. Now to deselect, I'm saying select a lot. To deselect, we wanna put control D and it deselects it. So from here, I got this image pre-selected. I wanna do this flag. I know a lot of Puerto Rican people that have been asking me for these. So let's just get that out the way. Two birds, one stone. Control T is what I hit to get these cursors all around our image there. And what I wanna do is drag that from right here where these cursors are. Tells us where the mask ends at. So I'm gonna drag that to right about there. And I wanna make sure I'm covering the top of the mask and the bottom. That's very important because when you go to sublimate, you don't want those empty spots coming up in white. So you wanna make sure you got your artwork all over it. And from here, we can hit this check mark up here or we can hit enter, hit enter. Then we go into the right side of our screen, selecting that image that we're working on, which is our flag. We're gonna right click on that and hit create clipping mask. And that's gonna put our image onto the mask and we could go in and finagle it like so. And that looks good right there. So then from there, what we wanna do, once we're happy with it, we wanna go up top here, hit File, Save As. I'm saving it to my computer. And I'm putting PR Flag Mask. And I'm gonna go down to here and change the file type from Photoshop to a JPEG. And I'm gonna hit Save. Okay, so now we good. All right. So that's your tutorial on how to make your face mask template for all your artwork. Any questions, comments, concerns, hit me in the comments. And I'll see y'all next week. Like and subscribe.